Sabi Kuri Bisco, episode 11. At siya pa rin yung problema, uh, ang Tetsujin. So, Tirol and Pao uh, were able to meet up and may... I don't know how she secured this, pero meron siyang Tetsujin manual. Sinubukan ba sa akin ni Pao, pero to no avail. E eh, sabi nilang ni Tirol, lay, person like, lay persons like you cannot, cannot read this. So... Oh, okay, tumahimi na si Pao. Sagyang napakalakas ang... Ang... Well, can we call it an... Uh, a colossal titan on steroids? Yeah! <laughs> it looks like it. Nakita kasi ni... Ni... Milo na... Severely injured si Jabi. Eh, bilang, bilang doktor, sinabi na niya. Nope. You can't continue. Magpahinga ka na lang dito. Sasama, ano... Uh, isasama ko na si Aktagawa. Milo uh, is now assuming that it's headed back to Imihama. Kasi nga, ang, well, is looking for Bisco. And, since it's looking for Bisco, um, he has safely deduced here that Kurokawa's brain is running it. Nagkasago pa sila ulit ng Tetsujin. Pero, may dumating na tulong. Sila Pawu Tirol. And of course, the, Imi, the, the whole Imihama Watch. Hinugot ni, ni, ni Pao. Eh, Siyempre, siyang commander eh. Siyang commanding officer nito. Yun. They start attacking. Ngayon, akala natin lahat na yung nasa bunga nga niyang main cannon. Nope! <laughs> he has an even bigger gun coming out of his chest. Sinabi niya kay Jabi na, go, take care of my sister. So, Ang humabol uli, yan, si Milo at si Aktagawa. Nandito na, sa Imihama, sa Imihama ang Tetsujin. Nasa walls na. So, ang sumulong mo sa kanya, yung pinaka-security ng Imihama. Again, tanks, planes, and attack helicopters. Pero, wala eh. There, no military might can, can actually, can actually step up to this monster. So, as a final stand, ayun. Atak si... Uh, si Milo. Inangasap nga niya eh. Kasi ang tawag niya ngayon... <laughs> ang tawag niya sa Tetsujin, si Kurukawa. Well... The Tetsujin is actually responding. Then, Milo suddenly finds himself on the Tetsujin's back. Tapos medyo tumigil si Milo. Nakita niya kasi yung goggles ni... ni Bisco nakausli doon sa likod. So... Yeah, he, he dug it out and yun, parang siyempre natauhan kasi kaibigan niya si best friend niya si Bisco eh. the Tetsujin manages to um to to, to throw him to, to throw him to the wall talaga as in all of a sudden Bisco comes out of the Tetsujin's back and with a ano to parang Nag, nagliliyam sa pula yung right arm niya and wow he's a scarier look it's a scarier looking bisco now final scene so ayun nga um, binigay na lang ni Milo yung goggles niya he wears it and yung tingin niya na oh, he's ready to kill someone yup yun yun <laughs> we're going to break that episode down now critic sub style base In short, wala akong reklamo sa pace ng episode na to. Kasi, every, everyone and everything is on crisis mode right now. Dahil, hindi nila matumba-tumba ang punyetang Dexogil na to. The pace will make you realize that. Kasi talagang, well, I got those final two episode feels dahil, eto na eh. So, yeah, this is the final boss. And someone needs to take this down. And for two episodes, it has been a tense pacing. Rightfully so. Flo naman. Well, first gear shift here was, was the first time Milo decided to, to really chase after the Tetsujin. Why did I call this a gear shift? Well, you can 
say this is a character development gearship for Milo. Again, kanya siguro. Wala na kaibigan ko. So, I might as well lay my lay my life down against this um against this monstrosity. And total, kaagapay ko naman um kaagapay ko naman si Aktagawa. Uh, that is the gearship. Second gearship was no umassisti na si Pawo. And of course, she, she brought reinforcements. No brainer of a gearship there. Kasi, medyo natinag ang Tetsujin dito. Final gearship was of course the final scene. Uy! Akala namin patay ka na, Bisco? Yun pala! He gets reborn in a way kasi I don't know what this, what that What that, what that flaming red arm does pero wow Ay, bigla nga bigla pa nga siya nagkaroon ng abs eh. <laughs> so these three gear shifts that I saw wow the first and the last one will play a role in the finale taga niya sa bato yan plot wise malinis ang plot mga ka lifestyle patreon Bakit? Well, the biggest uh, indicator here uh, of the cleanliness of its plot na involved kasi yung village ng mga bata. You still remember that episode? Kasi, well, Kurukawa has visited this uh, this village before in this anime. Pero before that, yeah. Kinikikila niya ang mga batang ito for, um, for uh, manpower, yung mga adults kinukuha niya in exchange for ganun this village symbolized Kurokawa's corruption if not if not um, if not it's uh, it's his biggest victim pero binaligan niya ito and wow he, 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 he was no, if Kurokawa Is, is actually the Tetsujin. Kasi, wow, he, he's helping on killing these kids. Buti na lang, nakialam si Milo just in time. E papatay nga yung leader, si Nuts. Kasi, syempre, bilang uh, leader ng village ito, he has to protect his people. Pinataas niya muna. So, siya mismo mag-isang sumagu pa sa Tetsujin. Although, he, with only a harpoon for a weapon. Eh, buti na lang, uh, Milo, Milo was just in time to, to rescue him. Eh, sinabi lang ni Milo, itakas mo na yung bata, ako na bahala dito. So, that's the, that's the main indicator kung bakit, um, kung baga, it was the tie that bound the entire episode. Kaya, seamless ang plot. Because, remember, The Tetsujin is on its way to Imihama. And midway through that is that village. So, malas talaga. Malas talaga. Uh, that village is um is standing in the way of the Tetsujin. So, buti na lang, naitakas yung mga bata. And, um, somehow, Milo stops the Tetsujin here. For, uh, even, even just for a bit. So, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Talagang, kasi kung lalagyan nyo pa ng even an explainer sequence here, masisira eh. Masisira yung crisis feel. Ano eh, ma- mapuputol yung crisis feels ng episode. So, you need to plot cl- this clean. Kasi, final two episodes na eh. Ano maglagay ka pa? There is no time and it won't be, um, It will inconvenience the entire anime, basically. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Sabi Kui Bisco, episode 11. Diretso. Mm. Two thumbs up. Excuse me. <laughs> Now, let's talk about Bisco's new look. Alright? Ang sumasaplot na lang sa upper body niya, yung kanyang yung kanyang kapa 
Tsaka yung may hood yun eh. Yun na lang. Talagang pinakita niya yung abs niya. And, um, what made me curious is this one. Tandaan niyo in episode 9, naputulan siya ng braso doon. The right arm. Now, he has a new one. So, at, par- parang gawa sa lava eh. Yung, yung itsura niya. It's glowing red. So, hmm. I'm sure I'm, you're as curious, you're as curious as me as to what that arm can do. Hmm. Ito ba yung papanlaban niya sa Tetsu Jin? 60%. So, wow. Looks like, the way it looks, um, not just in the final scene, but in, um, the, in the second half of this episode, we are up for one slam bang finale next week. Talagang. Aabangan mo talaga. So, mga, mga lifestyle, Patreon, tutukan na natin ang, ang anime na to. If you haven't, and you're still decided not to follow it, you're missing out like an idiot. <laughs> so again, Sabi ko Ibisco, episode 11, two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Sabi ko Ibisco, mga lifestyle. Slam bang finale. Slam bang finale. Just give it to us, us. Just give it to us. So, Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, chill-chill na lang muna kay John. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.